Hey guys, press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Pink Villa. Hi everyone, I'm Neha Dupi and you're watching me on Pink Villa. And because Mother's Day is around the corner, you know, I'm going to be answering some questions on Mother's Day. But uh, I promise to keep it fun. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I was because she's she was so fragile, so I was just a little um, you know careful about that. But I mean, I I did know how to change a diaper from even before. So yeah, I was pretty hands on when my daughter was born. The one craving that I did have, and I don't know how true it is or not, but a lot of times people tell you you're not supposed to drink coffee. So that was the hard part for me, not uh, anything else. Every time I get more than four hours of sleep is victory for me. Like it's the reverse in my case. It's nothing. That the milestone is about getting more than four hours of sleep. The first time when I held Mare in my arms, just it was surreal. Uh, it was the moment she was born. Like as soon as uh, you know she was pulled out, and they quickly like I think it was cleaning her up, wrapped her up. They just cut her cord and they they came and they put her on my chest, and oof, it was the best moment of my life. It was really the best moment of my life. It's tough every time. Every time I, I leave, and you know, it's different. Sometimes it was, it was just her, her finger gripping my hand. I would just wait for it. I've never been able to be that mom who'd be able to take slide her finger out. I'd just be waiting for it to like slide out on its own. And when she releases it, I know now she's sleeping and she won't realize. So I would tip her out of the room. Uh, now, of course, it's completely different. That joy of just like I keep staring at her face like you know a mad person when she's asleep, and you know I just keep looking at her. I keep looking at her. And then when she's about to wake up, then I just stroke her face a little bit. And sometimes I feel like it's not right for me to leave when she's sleeping. But when she wakes up and she looks at me and smiles, it's even harder to leave. So yeah, it's just uh, I'm uh, stuck between the devil and the deep blue sea of cuteness. I promise you, it's very hard. It's just too cute. It's too cute. Uh, the three things that I discovered about myself that uh, definitely selflessness. I have somebody in my life who I love infinitely more than I love myself. Uh, patience. I never had patience for anyone or anything. My daughters taught me so much patience. I would just wait for her and like caress her and hold her and teach her things. And uh, thirdly, and and uh, and most importantly, I feel like you know I have so much compassion like now because anybody I look at, I'm just like oh my god, this person is someone's son or someone's daughter, and this person is loved by their mom as much as you know I love my daughter. So I have so much compassion for everyone out there now. Not that. You know, uh, I, I didn't have it earlier, but I was very like all about the job, getting it done. But now it's like, you know, I, I look at life at a more like, you know, at the level of love than anything else. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Anga is definitely a hands-on father. Her first bath, I think, was given uh, by Anga. Then he's he's very like he's very gentle. I, I remember her being literally Anga to the size of Anga's palm. But you know, he was very good. And uh, yeah, he's he's very hands-on. He's very hands-on. Um, of course, me being the mum, and they say that the minute your child even tosses and turns or makes a little sound, you get up and run. I, I am that person, but even even Angad is, but except when cricket is on. Then he's not hands on. <laughs> Three things that I miss about my life before having Mayor uh, would definitely have to be uh, sleep, being able to like uh, be 100% present in any situation because I'm never there because like 80% of my brain is in my daughter. So I'm just like even when I'm here, I'm like 80% of my mind is thinking about her. And uh, third and most important thing, I think. I, I would be a big movie buff and every and any film that would come out, I would get up and go to the theatres. But now I fight my battles. I'm just like, if it's not worth it, I'm not going to go. So yeah, I think just going to the movies, like every Friday, I would be at the theatre watching a film. Hi everyone, I'm Neha Dupia and that was me uh, talking to all of you about uh, the many truths about uh, motherhood and my uh, version of motherhood. It's amazing, my love to all the mums out there, whatever you're doing is by far the bravest and the hardest job in the world. So yeah, Mwah. all the best. Um, I'm sure you're doing an amazing job. If you enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe to Pink Willa.